Hey everybody, it is me, Dixie T, and well, I'm at a hotel room, and and uh, for Magfest, and uh, just um, <laughs> you see this uh, little thing here, Magfest. I'm gonna be there for the next couple of days, but we have some big news, ladies and gentlemen. We got some big news, big news, big big news. The big news is that Okada. Kazuka Okada, he is gone from New Japan. I did a Twitter space and no one showed up. But anyway, I did Twitter space about this. And I want to talk a little about this uh, subject. And a lot of it is something that I I truly believe. And I truly think this will probably be for the, you know, I think more people should hear this message. And I think this should be an important message to talk about. And what I want to talk about is the... You know, the entire, you know, everything that's going on here. Because, again, Okada, who, former New Japan, you know, the IWGP champion, but also, you know, he is still the never six-man champion with, uh, let's see, he is also the, um, you know, with uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi, who is the president and also the New Japan World TV champion. And president of uh, New Japan, which is weird. <laughs> and Tomoyoshi Ishii, um, he is also there as well. <laughs> so I guess, you know, this is going to be... I, I think they're going to have uh, another show. So I think they're going to drop the title to, I believe, uh, TMDK, the Mighty Don't Kneel. And to me, this is actually interesting. Because now we have these two big companies, WWE, AEW. And Tony Khan recently tweeted out some, oh, it's going to be a fun year. And he's like, oh, he's hyped up. He's hyped. So I think he already has Okada there. Uh, but I don't be surprised if WWE comes in in the middle of the night, try to take it. And people was oh, he, he might do it at the Royal Rumble. I'm like, nah. Um, I think he'll probably, you know, if they want to do a deal, they'll probably have him do something at WrestleMania after Roman beats Rock and then bam. The coin drop, boom. Uh, you see Okada versus Roman, and poor Cody. <laughs> Cody, man, that that boo, that dude is never gonna finish his story. That man's story is uh, going to be what, what story is gonna be, ladies and gentlemen. What, what story? <laughs> that story, man. It, like what? It's gonna be like. Let me see. Be, like a uh, oh, uh, honey, like. Okay, um, let's see here. Yeah, I think, uh, uh, how about, uh, let me see, uh, let me look at this, um, um, maybe, um, 2027, Cody. I think you can hold that up, that momentum up for like, uh, you know, a couple more years, right? <laughs> Got you. Ah, <All> um, right, <laughs> so yeah, um, but yeah, you know what? I think it's gonna be a really interesting rebuild for New Japan. Because they need youth and they need new stars and they desperately need one. Because Jay White's gone, um, Ross Ray's gone, and now you got Okada who's gone. I mean, I know Nate and Nato. He's there. He's going to be the champion. I think that'd be a good thing. You can build him up. He's, he he can be a pillar to be there. But you know, Okada's a hit, and you can't lie and say it's not. It is. So what? I mean. And honestly, part of me wishes that he would go to TNA. I think mean, Kazuke Okada, uh, Kazuka, I can't right. Okada, Okada going to a TNA would actually be, um, would probably be for the best because I think personally, WE and AEW don't need him. But let's be real. Does Okada, and you know, Okada, you know, does WE or AEW right now, be honest, leave some in the comments. Do they need him? Do they need uh, Okada? Honestly, no. They don't need him. I don't believe they uh, need him right now because, quite frankly, um, if you really want to have um, uh, you know, someone who, you know, they need WE and AEW, honestly, I wish they can focus on their youth. 
and what New Japan is going to do. And it's going to be painful for a bit, but I think at the end of the day, it's necessary. But I think WE or a and AEW is just it's an abundance of wishes, uh, of riches. They don't need him. Because uh, honestly, WE, you know, they have Dragon Lee. They got uh, OB, uh, OB Fumi. Uh, you got North American Champion. Twick. And, and Mello. You got, you know, uh, <laughs> you, got, you know, uh, Dragon Off. They have so many young guys and ladies and everyone else that they don't need anymore. I don't think they need. All they have is right there. And personally, I don't think they should be on NXT. I think Dragon Off should be a uh, Dragon Off, Dragon Lee, um, Trick, and Mello should be at, um, you know, most of the people should be at, um, um, be on the main roster right now. But TV deal, whatever. They should be there. I think if they put them there, it would be a bit, you build them up. A Braun Breaker, he should be on the main roster now. So I think that should be something that th- they should be doing. Also, AEW, I don't think they need them here. AEW doesn't need uh, Okada because I think, like I said, they have new youth movement, new youth movement, and, um, you know, uh, youth movement that they have. They see their private party, top flight, um, um, you know, Griff Garrison. Um, yeah, and uh, Lee Moriarty. There's other people here. I think that WWE and AEW have, I think they should be country more on the youth. And they're fine with free agents. I think they're fine at the free agent position. You know? And at the end of the day, I think that should be the case. I think there should be, um, you know, a new, I mean, at the end of the day, they should be focusing more on that. And it's an abundance of riches, and I worry about WWE and AEW just being over over bloated with talent and not know how to use them. The same problem I believe WCW had um, back in 97, 98, 99 is that they had a huge, huge roster, but they had less TV time to do it. I think WWE and AEW have a huge roster, overflowed roster, and I don't think they need to have Okada because it's just a, it's a uh, luxury. It's a luxury, um, and and it just takes away time for other wrestlers to really get their, you know, get their shine in. I think we should have more youth wrestlers, young wrestlers, more you know, more young wrestlers, and more people getting opportunities in those companies instead of just being, you know, going for the free agent stuff, you know. Take it from me, Isaka has a uh, football, you know, the Redskins slash Commanders slash football team fan. And let me remind you that instead of building your own, you just went off free agents. And, well, how does that end up? Free agents, you know, they're nice, but they don't fit. You know, they just get overrun. You're like, you know, it's free agency. That's nice. But you don't have any more. You, you don't have anyone developing. You know, you just buy them out. You get people who are past their prime or about to end their in and they're about to not be in their prime doesn't you know and you don't have any young guys who can build up right next to them you just have overloaded for free agents it doesn't end well so I know he's probably going to AEW Okada's going to go to AEW he you know maybe he'll go to WWE but at the end of the day I truly think what would be best and honestly best for business would be if Okada we go to TNA because they need some stuff right now. They need a win. And honestly, I believe WWE and AEW would, honestly, I think it would be best if WWE and AEW would just concentrate on their rosters and, you know, find time for their major talents. But that's just my personal opinion. Anyway, that's what I have to say. Thanks so much for watching. Stuxy T here. Peace, love. See y'all. When I see y'all later.